high flow engine purge enabled. Deluge is activated. Stage one and stage two are pressed. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Forty seconds into the mission, and our twenty-fourth electron has lifted off from Pad B at Rocket Lab Launch Complex One. The beauty of launching in the morning means we had a clear daytime view of electron powering its way to space for inspective. But before it gets there, electron will pass through a critical point in the mission to clear max Q. This is the moment where there is maximum aerodynamic pressure working against the vehicle, hence max Q causing the most amount of stress the rocket will experience during its climb. Let's listen in for the call. Oh, so we just heard Actually, it there. We have cleared that more. gate. That's what we wanted to hear. Electron's nine Rutherford engines are firing well, and the mission remains on its correct trajectory to space. Now, we will run through three actions that will happen quickly, one after the other. First, all of the Rutherford engines will throttle down before shutting off completely. That is main engine cutoff, or MECO. A couple of seconds later, we'll have separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by the single Rutherford engine on Electron second stage, lighting up and continuing the mission to Earth orbit. Stage one propulsion is nominal, preparing for Mika in roughly 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition. There we go, we heard it and saw it for ourselves. Electron has had a successful MECO stage separation and ignition of its second stage engine. We're coming up on fairing deploy shortly as well. We'll see Electron's nose cone separate and fall away to clear the way for this inspective satellite. So let's keep an eye out for that one. Fairing jettison succeeded. There you go, you saw the electron fairing falling away as planned. The rocket's second stage is continuing nominally with its inspective payload to orbit. The vehicle is currently at an altitude of 130 kilometres and reaching speeds of more than 8,700 8, kilometres per hour. HVB battery discharge is nominal. We are now at T plus three minutes and 52 seconds into the mission, having completed stage separation and fairing deploy from Electron as well. We are coming up next to battery jettison. So that will be coming up in just a few moments, but Electron is looking good, carrying on at an altitude of 160 kilometers and more than uh, 9,800 kilometers per hour.
So it looks like the mission is continuing nominally as we get ready to deploy Sinspector's satellite to low Earth orbit. We are at T plus 4 minutes and 43 seconds into the mission. Um, it's travelling at speeds of more than um, 11,000 kilometres per hour um, and at an altitude of 185 kilometres. Stage 2 propulsion is nominal. Those familiar with our 3D printed engines will know that Rutherfords use batteries to power their pumps. But much like anything that runs on batteries, we need to swap them out when they run down their power and move to a new one to keep things moving. The process of switching out this power source mid-flight is what we call battery hot swap. Sometimes you can catch a glimpse of these battery packs falling away. Let's watch and listen. Throttling down. Approaching hot spot. Battery Jenison confirmed. And there they go. Thank you, Battery Packs, for your service. Electron's trajectory continues to look nominal as we hit T plus 6 minutes and 25 seconds into this mission. AFT is his safe. HVB battery discharge holding nominal. If you're just joining us for this mission, our 24th Electron launch, we are well on our way to low Earth orbit for Sinspective satellite on board Electron today. So we are, at T, we are at T plus 7 minutes and 24 seconds with Electron carrying on nominally. We've made it successfully through our mission milestones to date and coming up next will be the engine cutoff on stage 2. So that's coming up in just a few moments. We are about a minute away now from the second engine cutoff on stage two of Electron, but the mission is carrying on nominally at T plus eight minutes and 20 seconds, and we'll be coming up to that milestone shortly. Entered burnout detector. Electron is now coming up to its next mission milestone, SECO or second engine cutoff. Like when we shut down the main engines earlier in the mission, the second stage single Rutherford engine will stop before the stage separates from the kick stage and the mission continues to orbit. So we've had MECO and we are coming up to SECO. We do love an acronym in the space industry.